Hi, I'm going to show you um, how to do method bias in PLS. Uh, forgive my hoarse voice, I'm battling a bit of a sore throat lately. Um, PLS, uh, we typically we don't do a lot with method bias or common method bias, some people call it, or specific uh, bias is another name for it, or response bias. Uh, most common name is common method bias. We don't do a lot with method bias in PLS, usually because PLS often focuses on formative factors. Formative factors uh, very rarely suffer from method bias. I'm not going to talk about what method bias is. Um, I've talked about that in other videos. I'm just going to show you how to do it in Smart PLS. There's actually an article. Um, it's by Ned Koch. Uh, he wrote this article about uh, assessing method bias in PLS. And this is essentially what you need to know. You can do it through a collinearity diagnostic uh, where you assess the VIFs. If they're greater than 3.3 at the factor level, then that is an indication of method bias. If they're equal to or less than 3.3 at the factor level, then that is an indication of no method bias. Now, there's not currently a way to mitigate method bias in um, PLS software that I'm aware of, but there is this way of at least identifying it. If you do find that you have method bias, then uh, you can simply say that it is a limitation and you can say how severe it is. Um, and if you don't have method bias, at least this is a way you can say, look, here's evidence, I don't have method bias. So let's go over to a model. Let's say you have a model like this um, and you want to assess method bias. What we're going to do is we're just going to um, connect all the variables to a single variable at a time. Uh, this is a little bit tedious, so I'm actually going to delete these paths we're not going to be assessing right now. Just click on them and delete them. And now all the all the variables are pointing at decision quality to start. Calculate. I'm going to use PLS uh, consistent because I'm using all reflective factors. I'm going to, let's see, sorry, I bring this in. Connect all LVs for initial calculation. Yes. Um, do it at the factor level. Yes. And then use all other defaults. Okay. Get this running. And once it runs, ignore everything except down here where it says collinearity statistic VIF. And go to the second tab, which is the inner VIF values. And we've done this only for decision uh, quality at this point. So we want these numbers not to be green. Well, we want them to be green. If they were not green, uh, if they were 3.3, or, or if they were more than 3.3, excuse me, then that would be an indication of method bias. Right now, we're good. Now, if we want to be completely thorough, we could go do this for all the other latent factors. Um, from a fairly liberal standpoint, we could actually just get away with doing the dependent variable only. Um, but let's be a little more thorough. I'm going to fast forward or at least speed up the video um, so you can see this with every latent factor. Okay. I've connected all of these to playfulness now. You may have noticed it was hard to click on some of them. You might have to zoom in to click on them. I'm going to run through the same uh, procedures before. Here I am at the inner VIF values for playful. They're all less than 3.3, so we're good. Let's do the next one. Okay, we've now connected CompUse. Let's run it again. CompUse looks good at uh, all less than 3.3. And we have one more left. Okay, now they're all connected to usefulness. And again, all less than or equal to 3.3. So this is an indication that we have no method bias biasing our data um, or our model. Now, again, if we did have values here greater than 3.3, we would not be able to do anything about it, really, um, except say, as a limitation, we have minor method bias or major method bias, depending on how big that value was. If it's less than five, it's, it's fairly minor. Um, if it's greater than five, it's um, considered to be moderate to major. Uh, anything above 10 is major method bias issues. So there you have it. That's how you assess method bias in PLS. Again, for the reference, it's down here, even the page number and the quote. Hope that helps.